What is up guys? How's it going? My name is Erm Joseph. Thank you guys for checking out the video. So in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and scrap a computer power supply, PSU, and I'm going to show how much money can be made and at the end if it's worth the time of scrapping it. So we have our scale. Let me get that in the frame. Alright, so here we have our power supply. It is a NZXT 850 watt power supply. This is the model number right here if you want to um, get an exact idea. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to weigh in and see what we're working with. Okay, so 5.65 pounds, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is just move that here you can still see the weight we're gonna cut the wire all right <laughs> different scissors for different tasks okay so I want to weigh in currently just the wire that was on the outside. So just the wires are 1.15 pounds. Now we're going to open up this PSU, just checking out all the different screws everywhere. The best thing to do is to have a power tool, that way you actually are saving time. There you go. All right, so here we have steel. I'm just gonna go ahead. And organize it to the best of my ability. What we're gonna do is, we're just gonna separate the boards from the wire. This is my first time doing this. Typically what I end up doing is that I just take out the PSU, the power supply, and I uh, put it in its own separate pallet. So I sell those per pound as is, but I, I thought it would be a really nice video to show if it's even worth it to strip these things. We're going to keep the board separate. All the stuff at the end is going to be accounted for. So now we're going to take out the board from the plate itself. Okay. Okay. Plastic. This is steel. Let me see how we can pop this out. That's not working. Okay. So I just broke the board. Ignore that. Not hurt ourselves. Because there's glue on it, it'll be a little bit difficult to take out. We'll leave that towards the end. But we have the full board with the wires and everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the wires off and then we'll weigh this in with the copper on it. And then we'll see as each step goes to move this out of the way. All right, check it out. You get all the copper here, coiled up in here, here. These are wires, of course. There's copper in there. So there are many different ways you could take this apart. It is not something that is an easy task. You really need the proper tools to take this apart, but there are like many different components you can extract. For example, like the copper, what you just saw, the aluminum heat sinks, and then what's left would be the board that you can sell per pound. It's a low grade board, but it's still a board nonetheless. 
um, this experiment, the whole purpose of it is to show the value at each level, what you're able to extract, and at the end, if it's even worth your time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take apart the wire, and then measure that in terms of weight with the wire that we cut initially, and we'll get an entire number. So from there on out, uh, we'll go ahead, we'll weigh out the board itself, and then we'll take out the copper pieces, we'll weigh that separately, and then we'll weigh the board. So at the end we'll have a tally of the value of everything, of all of our efforts, and uh, the time it took. So, now we're just taking out the copper. Okay, another piece. Let's put all the wires together. Let's weigh that. I believe we got uh, 1.15 pounds before. The problem is the scale isn't like very sensitive and the amount of wire I put is very light. Oh wait. <laughs> it's showing negative 0.25. Let's zero it out. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> Great. Okay, so the amount of wire that I was able to retain from the inside while still leaving a little bit left that was a little bit harder to reach is a quarter of a pound. So that added with what we cut initially. There you go. So it comes up to a pound 40. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna weigh the board. Let's add these two anyway. So the board by itself, and these are power supply boards, you really don't get the highest amount for them. They're considered like low grade boards depending on where you sell them. Some people will see the copper and they'll pay you a higher amount. They'll categorize it differently. But the scrapyard that I recycle with will pay me like a lower amount because this is considered low grade board for him. So nonetheless, all the boards inside that we retained, aside from the power, it came up to 2.45 pounds just with the board itself. And let's see in steel weight in terms of the shell how much we got 1.3 pounds so 1.40 for the wire 2.45 for the board and 1.30 for the steel so the last thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go ahead and extract the copper I don't know how difficult it's gonna be but nonetheless I'm gonna extract the copper from the board there are about three more spots one two and three, there are two over here, and um, maybe we'll even extract the aluminum heat sink over here. Let's try to bend this out a little bit. Come on, buddy. There we are. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? Another piece, not much, but just for the sake of doing the task from beginning to end. We will do it. This one's gonna be a difficult one, I'm not gonna lie. This one's gonna be very difficult. But look at the amount of copper in there. Man, this one's difficult. Wow. If you're able to liquefy the solder, these things just pop right out. So that will be something for a future video or this is a tip you guys can use you know if you do have a solder all right makes it a little bit easier check that out see if we can okay that hurt a little bit ow all right okay let's see if we can break this side too open it up all right so we ended up breaking the board apart now it's going to be easier to take out the aluminum uh, heat sink because it's all held by screws. So first thing we're going to do is just going to finish up. There it is. Okay. Wow. What a process. Jeez. Whew. All right. 
Man, this is work. Ooh. Okay. Finish with the copper. Just take out the aluminum. It lets me. All right. All right, a lot of craziness going on over here. Can't really concentrate too much going on. Time to clean up and then we'll weigh in everything and then see what was the effectiveness of taking everything apart compared to the value of the commodities and the amount of time I put in. Of course, we have to take into account that I did not have a wire cutter. So that is a pretty big thing when it comes to tight spaces like this and cutting the wires. Nonetheless, this was an attempt at taking apart the PSU in a computer and seeing how much cash I can make from a power supply for a computer, how much profit I can make and how long it took. So time to clean everything up and then we'll see where we stand. All right, guys, there you have it. Everything has been separated. That was a pretty intense journey to getting to this point. Once again, it all has to do with the tools. If you have the right tools, you're able to properly utilize your time. Nonetheless, we're here. The amount of time it took me, 30 to 40 minutes. So, nonetheless, that's where we're at. So, we're gonna start off weighing in the wires again. I was able to take some of the bits from the end of this one board that had all the wires on it. Very little left. We have 1.45 pounds of wire. So this is the steel. 1.3 pounds of steel. Aluminum heatsink. 0.35 pounds for aluminum. This is the copper. It is not clean copper. I have to double check and see what this would be categorized as. But we'll just weigh it nonetheless. So this is 0.95 pounds. So almost a pound of copper. And last but not least is the low grade board, which is again, 0.95 pounds of low grade. So there you have it guys. I hope it was really informative on how to make money from scrapping a power supply unit from a computer and um, seeing how much value we're able to extract from it in terms of its commodity value pieces. It was a pretty intense process because once again, I didn't have the proper tools, but I'm sure the proper tools, the amount of time it took could be cut down tremendously. So we weighed in the power supply as a whole. I'm gonna show you how much I get paid per pound for the power supply over here. Now I'm gonna show you over here, the total value of all of these different commodity value items combined so we're gonna be able to see the difference between the two all right guys I hope that was informative I hope you enjoyed this video and videos like this if you did please feel free to like it share it with your friends subscribe to the channel I would really appreciate it this is my attempt at taking apart a power supply unit and seeing how much profit I can get with that power supply unit. I hope that you have better luck with your time efficiency. So thank you guys once again for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Please keep a lookout for my next videos. I'm putting out about three, four videos a week now and it's all around electronic recycling. And the other part of my channel is my entrepreneurial journey in terms of the tips and tricks I use to move ahead in business and videos on web development, analytics, SEO, how to get the word out for your business. So I hope that type of stuff intrigues you, interests you, and um, yeah, I don't wanna to talk too much because now I don't know what I wanna say anymore. Thank you guys for checking out the video and I'll see you on the next one.